Alright, what's going on guys? I'm sure by now you've seen this new advertisement from Gillette. They released it a couple days ago, but I was already busy working on that Riley Reed video that I just uploaded, but I have got around to watching it now, and I gotta be honest, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Basically, they changed their motto from the best a man can get to the best a man can be, and they decided to make this announcement by releasing this two-minute video that is just virtue signaling to people about toxic masculinity. Now, it didn't really trigger me. If anything, I just thought it was a really stupid video. I know a lot of people out there watched it and got really upset, and I don't agree with that. I, I think we need to do better as men. Like, if we start getting triggered over every stupid little thing like this, then we're no better than the feminists, right? So what we should be doing, instead of getting triggered and getting upset and getting really angry is just making fun of how stupid this video really is so that's exactly what we're gonna do now first of all this whole situation just doesn't make any sense right Gillette is a razor company now I don't have their exact demographics but I would imagine that the majority of Gillette's customer base is men so I don't really understand why you would make an advertisement for your product shitting on your own customers how does this help your business I, I don't understand how this got approved like which moron in the marketing department of Gillette thought this was a good idea what did you expect to happen like you thought people were just gonna watch this video and be like wow you know what thank you Gillette Thank you for reminding me that as a man, I'm a piece of shit. You know, I really needed that reminder. I'm gonna go buy 100 of your razors now because you reminded me that I suffer from the horrible disease of being a man. I'd imagine the only people who really enjoyed this ad, who really felt the message, were women that are either morbidly obese or have green or blue hair, or maybe even a combination of both, you know, especially the ones that have a combination of both. So congrats on appealing to the tiniest demographic possible with your advertisement, but I hate to be the one to break the news to y'all on this one. Those nasty ass bitches ain't shaving in the first place. You know, they believe in the all natural approach. So really the main group that your ad has appealed to would never even use your product in the first place. So really you couldn't have failed any worse if you tried. So that being said, I guess let's go ahead and see what this ad is all about. Bullying. The Me Too the movement against sexual toxic harassment. Masculinity. So we're about four seconds into the video and they've already dropped the three biggest keywords that they can. Bullying, Me Too movement, and toxic masculinity. They literally started out the video with the word bullying. Bullying. It doesn't even make any sense. There's no context. It's not even a full sentence. It's just the word bullying, right? I mean, it's as if they were just trying to grab the attention of all the man haters in the world right off the bat and they were just too stupid to think of a creative way to do it so they just straight up said the three biggest key words right away with no context whatsoever in the beginning of the video so just based off this intro right here I think you know how this video is gonna go but basically they just spend the next two minutes showing some examples of toxic masculinity except there's two major issues with what they did. Number one, they don't really seem to understand that women are also capable of all of these things as well, so it's not really a man thing, so it can't really be toxic masculinity if women are capable of doing this exact same thing. But the second major issue with what they've done here is in most of these examples, I wouldn't really say that the person is even doing anything wrong. Like, he's doing something very minor and they act like he's like a fucking rapist or something because he did this. It's very weird. Like, I really hope people don't think this way, but let's go ahead and take a look. Is it? We can't hide from it. 
So they started off with some good old fashioned bullying. But the issue is, like, has a girl never bullied anyone before? How exactly is bullying an example of toxic masculinity when girls also bully people as well? So this is what I'm talking about. Like, this video just doesn't make any sense. Excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. So we got two little boys, like, play fighting or wrestling or whatever. Apparently, this is some sort of crime. I, I wonder if these idiots realize that these two kids are not actually fighting. Like, they're just playing around. Nobody's getting hurt. Like, what's wrong with that? Jesus, man. Like, are we not allowed to have fun? Like, who didn't play around with their friends or their siblings as a kid? And once again, I promise you, girls do this as well. Probably not as much, but not every girl is sitting there playing with their fucking Barbie and shit. Oh. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. See, this is what I was talking about. This guy literally just said, smile, sweetie. And they act like he went up to her and said, hey, bitch, pull out your titties real quick. They got this other dude stepping in like he's fucking saving the day. Come on, man. What are you doing, dude? Get away from her, you piece of shit. How dare you ask her to smile? Like, what the hell, man? Like, is this considered harassment now? Like, you can't tell people to smile? Jesus, like, good thing no women in the history of the world have ever asked a man to smile, they would never engage in such toxic masculinity. To act the right uh, way. Bro, not cool. Once again, like, what the fuck did this guy do wrong? They're acting like he was about to chase her down and fucking sexually assault her in the middle of the street. He saw a girl that he thought was attractive, so he was gonna go talk to her. How is this a crime? I mean, do you think no girl has ever seen a guy that she thought was hot and went up to him and talked to him? Like, do you think that's never happened before? Like, where's the issue here? But some is not enough. That's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the video. The last clip, I actually do agree with. Yes, obviously, if you see like five kids jumping another kid in the middle of the street, yeah, let's maybe help the other kid out, right? I mean, that's common sense. But once again, I mean, you don't think a group of girls has ever jumped another girl? I mean, just go on over to World Star, you know, find all the videos you want. So as I said earlier, all the examples they used are just very dumb and some of them were a little concerning honestly on what they are actually considering harassment like apparently just going up to someone and saying hello is harassment now like what the fuck is going on here I mean could you guys imagine a tampon company made an advertisement like this and called it you know toxic femininity right we will never see that fucking advertisement in a million years they will never make that. You know why? Because as I've already said many times before, these people don't want to be treated equal. They want to be treated better, right? They hide behind this shield of equality. Oh, we want to be treated equal. We're not being treated fairly. But when you really break it down and you look at what they're saying and you look at what they're asking for, you'll see that it's pretty clear that they're actually asking for special treatment. So that's pretty much it for the video. Just a complete failure from Gillette. I mean, imagine making an advertisement to sell your products, but in this advertisement, advertisement, you are attacking the people who you are trying to sell your products to. Like, where the hell is the logic here? I, I don't understand. I was hoping we could have left this stuff in 2018, but it's already here in 2019 and it's only getting worse. So 2019 already off to a horrible start. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and and peace out. Don't you know how to wear a hoodie correctly? I know how to wear it correctly. But I also like guys a lot. And I want guys to look at me like a hot piece of meat. So I wear it like that because I know my place as a woman. Clearly you don't know yours as a guy.
can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right